Hello and welcome to this Inside Innovation at Xerox podcast, where we discuss new technologies and innovation happening inside the Xerox Innovation Group, the company's worldwide research and development organization. For Xerox, I'm Dee Alexander. With a high-intensity flash of light, Xerox Corporation has found a way to fuse color toner, forming images at speeds of almost 500 images per minute without contact with the paper. This innovative non-contact flash fusing technology breaks the color continuous feed speed barrier of traditional xerographic fusing systems while offering excellent registration, productivity, and reliability. In this video podcast, you'll see flash fusing at work inside Xerox's latest color continuous feed printer. Hear from a customer about why flash fusing enables new color applications to be printed on a wider range of papers and learn just how flash fusing works. The new Xerox Color Continuous Feed printing system utilizes a new technology called flash fusing along with a uniquely designed and formulated toner. Flash fusing fixes the toner image on the substrate with a flash of high intensity light. It uses an array of xenon lamps and just with light energy will fix the toner permanently on the substrate. As a result, flash fusing enables a broad range of papers to be used from very light, as light as 40 GSM up to 160 GSM. I believe flash fusing you know, on this product really offers uh, some unique advantages that we haven't seen before, which uh, you know, in our industry, postage costs are, are you know, a significant challenge to our clients. They continue to go up, and uh, we think flash fusing will, will allow us to use a lighter weight substrate you know, and, and uh, possibly reduce costs for our clients. And uh, we think from a quality standpoint, the quality we've seen from this technology Xerox has developed uh, really is unmatched right now in the industry. The new 49980 continuous feed color printer from Xerox has breakthrough technology. One of these new breakthrough technologies is flash fusing. Flash fusing's been around for many years, 50 years, but it's been used primarily on black and white or entirely on black and white printers. The breakthrough in this new printer is using flash fusing for color printing. In traditional roll fusers, as you can see here, a heated roller and a pressure roller combine to fuse the toner into the paper fibers. As you can see here in flash fusing, light energy is used rather than heat. A bright light is flashed onto the toner and the page. The light energy is absorbed by the toner but reflected by the paper, leaving the paper cool, the toner properly, smoothly fused onto the pages. There are two main categories of fusing technology, roll fusing and non-contact fusing, like radiant fusing or flash fusing. Roll fusing uses heat and pressure to fuse the toner to the paper, creating a nice glossy image, which is great for cut sheet applications. Non-contact fusers, like radiant and flash fusing, never actually touch the paper, which has two great properties. One is that because it doesn't touch the paper, there's no contamination from the paper to the fuser or from the fuser to the paper. This creates a, a highly reliable fusing technology. A second nice property of non-contact fusers is that you can use substrates that are sensitive to pressure, like substrates that contain RFIDs or uh, plastic ID cards glued onto paper. In a non-contact fuser, those substrates go through without damage. This podcast was recorded on January 15, 2008, and at the time of recording, all information was factually accurate. Because this will reside on the Internet for a period of time, Xerox assumes no duty to update the podcast to reflect new information. Listeners should visit www.xerox.com news for up-to-date factual information.